whoever you are. If the thought of committing suicide ever occurs to you, just remember this. If you can watch this video, can hear it, you can read it, and you can understand it, you are more blessed than those 3 billion people in this world who can't see, read, and understand. If you have money in your wallet, you are among the 18 persons world's wealthy people. If you have a place to sleep, you are more richer than 75 persons of this world population. If you have more health than illnesses, you are more fortunate than those million people who will actually die this week. Is there anything damn to complain about? Life is like a roller coaster. There's gonna be up and there's gonna be downs. There's gonna be happiness and there's gonna be problems. The only thing is how do we perceive it? Bob Marley once said, some people feel the rain, others just get wet. People who usually end their life, it's not the only thing they do. They leave a serious trauma, agony and pain to their family, friends and their colleagues. Even the medical professional and the police officer who deal with the suicide victim go through a serious trauma for many days to come. Even myself, when I was doing a research on this topic, I was talking to different people, I was reading the material, I was watching different videos. It has impacted me on many levels. Imagine the impact it leaves on family members and friends. Most of the suicide survival have said later that they regretted the moment they attempted suicide. Sergeant Kevin who has spent 21 years dealing with suicide victims on Golden Bridge. Here is what he has to say in his TED Talk. Listen to this. Very few who have jumped off the bridge and lived and can talk about it. Most of those folks have said that the second that they let go of that rail, they knew that they had made a mistake and they wanted to live. There are many reasons that actually lead a person to commit a suicide, but depression is among the most common. The moment we realize that there is a greater purpose behind our existence, our creation, our breathing, our life, and we work hard to achieve that purpose, the life all of a sudden look very meaningful. People who usually think about suicide or even commit suicide, they usually lost that purpose in their life. You would think that if you are rich, famous, and you have all the amenities in your life, you will be happy. If that was the case, then Anthony Bourdain and Robin Williams would be among us breathing. Even after all the fame, money, an exuberant lifestyle in the media, they had this severe depression that eventually compelled them to take their own life. If you see someone crying out for help, don't ignore that sign. Please go ahead, extend your arm to them to help and to talk and to listen. Listening is very important. If you listen to them, and generally take interest and see if you could help them, that may be a turning point in their life. Some people will hide their depression behind their happiness. They will pretend that they are very happy, they will have a excellent life on Instagram, but their personal life will be absolutely terrible. So we must look for the signs of those depressions and if we genuinely care about those family members and friends and colleagues, we should reach out to them and listen to them and talk to them and genuinely extend our arms to help these individuals. Most people and most culture, for whatever reason, they don't want to talk about this topic. But 
suicide is real it's the 10th leading cause of death in USA according to the American Foundation for suicide prevention stats in 2017 1.4 million American has attempted to end their life among those 47,000 American has died because of those suicide attempts. The highest suicide rate was among the adults aged between 45 and 54. 50% of those suicides were committed through firearms. You pick any religion, Islam, Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, or Jainism, every single one of them denounced the act of committing suicide when we didn't have the choice to come to this world how could we have a choice to make an exit on our own terms depression sometimes silently sneak up on you and some people silently suffer from it just like in the case of robin williams and anthony bourdain who have committed suicide because of a severe depression, a depression that could be very well treated. 90% of people who die by suicide have a diagnosable and treatable mental illness at the time of their death. And we know that with medication, with psychotherapy, these treatments work. So we need to make these treatments more available in an informed way to everybody. That's for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. And let's together spread the positivity and make the change in people's lives.